So today we're going to look at um, RSA retail savings bonds and what we're going to look at is the impact of this type of investment. So we're going to look at the positives and the negatives. Now remember the RSA retail savings bond is a bond that is given by the government and it's managed by the National Treasury. All right. So the positive impact is that there are no costs or charges to this type of investment. All right. So no costs, no charges. It's easily accessible as one can go and open your RSA retail savings bond at a post office and post offices are generally found quite easily in our country. The next thing is that the interest rate is fixed so it's a relatively low risk and remember because it's a government investment, right, government cannot be liquidated so you cannot lose your money. And then lastly, you can withdraw your money, however, you need to wait for the first 12 months to finish. Another positive is because it's not a huge amount of money that you need to invest straight away, it appeals to all different market levels, right? Low income earn level earners as well as high income level earners. The negative side of it is that you can't transfer this investment to someone else. The second thing is that you cannot cede it over to the bank as security against a loan. The third one is if you did need the money within the first year of having invested in it, you can't withdraw it. And if one does, there are huge penalties that come into play. I hope that that's helped. I would highly suggest that you learn four positives and four negatives so that you understand the impact of the RSA Retail Savings Bond on the investor.